Hello and welcome to Kerbal Space Program. It's time for some more 0.18 action. Hello and welcome to the first test of the Norman. Uh, I forgot the rest of the name. Uh, let me just check. The TRP, which stands for Test Robotic Plane. Wait, is there a crew in here? Oh, I was gonna say. Wait, it's it says not enough crew. Yeah, yeah, there's no crew in here. Let's uh, turn on the lights so you can see we have lights on the front there. Uh, let me turn on the brakes. Can I just? Oh, I can click that at the top and it turns on the brakes. What's gears? Oh, that's what gears does. All right, let's hope we didn't break anything. All right, let's turn those off for now. Uh, okay, good. And then I can right click to open up this solar panel, which is an accordion like that. Okay. Well, now I know which that one is. And then I have this parachute, or two of those. They're emergency parachutes, of course. We don't intend to use those. We got a ladder on the front so a crew can climb in if we need them to. We have lights, of course, for landing at night. Um, this whole thing is actually powered by a probe in here. Uh, we have an accelerometer, we have a barometer, we have a temperature gauge, we have these uh, little communication things. So let's go ahead and put those out, or we'll put them out one at a time. Okay. So the idea is you have two, you have these which you can put out. Uh... Oh, they're fixed. Oh, once you put them out, that's it. Okay, I didn't know that. Well, let's put these away because we don't want them to fall off while we're flying. That would be bad. Let's uh, turn off the brakes. Let's uh, turn up the throttle. Hit space to start the engines, which should start up pretty quickly. Yeah. This thing should also take off pretty quickly. Yep, it does indeed. A little too quickly, it tries to pull all the way over and itself over. I like the new engine sounds. I like the new engine sounds. My game is, uh, the lag spain is turning on just a little bit. I actually have my computer on uploading the uh, first video right now uh, of Kerbal Space Program version 18.18, .18, whatever. So let's see, thrust. Oh, that reminds me, I need to disable this front tank. Uh, can I... There we go, yay. Okay, good. So we'll drain from the rear tanks first. Alright, status nominal. Really? Alright, cool if you say so. Now let's see, where our specific impulse is dropping rapidly, our thrust is dropping rapidly. Where's the part that tells me if I'm gonna flame out or not? Do I have to like click on an intake to see that? See, I really want to see. I really want to see one of these things uh, flame out. Also, the drag increases on intakes as you speed up. Apparently, that's a new thing. Uh, oh, you can close the intake if you want to. It turns off the drag, but turns it. You know, turns it off. We're still going pretty good though, which is kind of strange considering there is no air. Oh, and there is the. Uh, oh God, I love the sound of that. All right, let's open one of those back up. Uh, which one's open? Nope, I did not mean to right click on that. Come on. Oh, my engines just both, fl they're flaming out. We're losing control because we're going too high up for them. <laughs> that is pretty cool. Right, come on, let me get in the cockpit. Why, oh yeah, because we're controlling from a probe thing. Speaking of, how are we doing on power? Uh, looks like we're doing alright. Um, our the amount we're charging and not charging is rapidly changing because we have a solar panel on the front there. That's kind of the emergency panel. If you accidentally run out of power without opening the other panels, then you at least have that one. Um, so that should hopefully come on come on drop down no no don't do that yeah I'm just trying to correct for this uh, tumble we're in of course uh, obviously 
Unfortunately, this thing is made very unstable by the fact that the, uh... There we go. We're gaining some control, I think. Yeah, this thing is a little bit unstable because the, uh... The center of thrust, I mean the center of mass and center of lift are exactly aligned, which normally you don't want to do, actually. Believe it or not, is, uh, you don't want to do that. Um, so yeah, we saw the new flame out thing. Uh, I, I want, the moment I heard about this update, and the moment I heard about, uh, flaming out on your engines like that, instead of them just, uh, dropping below usability and turning off or whatever, you know, like it was before, I wanted to see them actually flame out like that. So, that made me very happy to see just now. And, uh, so like I said, you can put a pilot in this, or you can fly it unmanned, uh, remote controlled. We pretend those antennas are actually remote controlling us. And then, of course, there's this solar panel on the... See, the purpose of that solar panel there was... The idea was, in case I forget to land and put this out before I run out of power, there'll be one there that's just always generating power to help you out. Now, I figure while we're at it, while we're flying this, I might want to go land on that runway over there or try to land on that runway I may or may not decide to do that right now my computer is running other things so performance is less than desired however thanks to the lagsbane thing and it actually working uh, when I tried the lagsbane mod myself it didn't work for me it didn't work but um, now that they've added it officially into the game whatever they've done differently from how that mod worked it's uh, it it actually works for me which is a nice change. We're gonna go ahead and put the landing gear down. And I can't go into cockpit view, unfortunately, because we're not controlling from the cockpit, because there is no one aboard. So at least if we botch this landing, uh, there's no problem, right? Uh, that being said, I do not want to botch this landing, but you know. Just saying, it's not such a problem if, if, um, Let's see, our center of mass, let's see, this tank has been emptied partially, and that's in front of the center of mass, so it should have moved forward, so we shouldn't be having the stability issues that I'm having right now with it pulling up on its own, but we are nonetheless. Hmm. I don't know what that's about. Well, let's hope I can land it, like I said. I can always hit these parachutes. Okay, wait. Before we land, let me just throttle back up with the engines real fast. Okay, so that's what they look like. That's the fuel tank. I'm trying to right-click the parachute, of course. If I cut one but not the other, of course, I'm going to start having some control issues. Luckily, it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. Okay, stop pulling up. Yeah. I think this thing turns too fast for its own good. Yeah, we've just lost control. Um, not a good thing, generally. Uh, oh. Right, right, nope. Go down. Stop. Okay, that's bad. Come on, come on. Let's just, let's just keep pointed up right now while we're trying to regain control. Alright, we have some semblance of control. Right, I'm just gonna turn the engine down real low while I try to keep this thing from pulling up too much. Okay, this thing is just... Yeah, this is a bad design, but you know what? It's my first in a new version where I have no idea what's going on. Right. We don't have a pilot to worry about, at least. Like, there's no danger to Kerbal lives here. But I, this this plane was very expensive to construct, of course, so I'd prefer we uh, landed it intact. So that's what we're going to try to do. It flies very well uh, when the engines have power, though, so... You know, if we could do a high-speed landing, that would work. The only problem with that idea is that I don't want to do a high-speed landing because... Oh, oh, oof. Because I've never landed here before, and this is a short runway, no, sh surely. Oh, pull up! Pull up! Shit. 
Yep. So, there goes that. Now I will build a more conventional design. By conventional, of course, I just mean something that I've done before that I can fly. Either that, or I'll build something with a ton of intakes and only one engine and see how high up in the atmosphere I can take it. Thanks for watching, etc., etc. See you in space. Or, or in flight. Um, I promise I'll go to space more often in this version, though. Yeah. Bye.